So in EFT, if somebody comes in with depression, or somebody comes in and says, I just don't get on with other people, or I have difficulty with other people, we are going to try to take them to the core underlying emotion that generates those problems. So in depression, there might be either a core feeling of shame, like I'm a failure, I'm worthless, or a core feeling of abandonment or unlovedness. But the depression is a secondary symptom where because the need has not been met, the need for love or the need for validation, they begin to feel hopeless that the need will ever be met. They give up and then they feel depressed, right? Because they sort of given up on trying to get the need met and feel that it'll never happen. But really underneath they're feeling core shame of feeling worthless or core lonely abandonment, like nobody will ever be there or love me. And it's those feelings that manifest at the surface of de as depression. But the symptom is a secondary phenomena. The dis-ease is the underlying shame or fear. Similarly, with people who have difficulty in, in relationships, they might at core feel afraid of opening themselves because then they will get rejected, which is kind of shame-based. Or they might feel nobody's ever been there for me, so I'm unlovable. Uh, and what we see is difficulties in relationship where they're wary and they don't take any kind, they don't open themselves at all in relationship or they're aggressive in relationships because they always feel wronged. But the core problem is always the underlying emotion. And that's what we have to get to. But there are many layers. People come in with concrete problems and difficulties, uh, but we don't try to treat the symptom. I mean, we validate and understand the painfulness of the symptom, but we are trying to get to the more primary underlying emotion.